A barber in Cold Lake is cutting it old school when it comes to a close shave. Now the business called Crew Barber and Stylus offers men a shave like no other. And as Fraser Snowden finds out, once you try it, well, you'll definitely want to go back. At first glance, it may look like a hair salon, but hidden away in the back is a section only for men. The room comes complete with an old school barber chair where men can come and get a hot shave and take a step back in time. I make my own pre-shave oil here in my store and then we use uh, the old techniques from the books, you know, from back in 1939 type books and then uh, with the straight blades and the old school razors and stuff like that. Taking a look around the room, you will see anything from old bayonets, ammo boxes and even empty shells to capture the feeling of when in time this shave was most popular. Uh, well, it's, it's an experience, it's relaxing. It's, uh, it's a good way to end a hard week, you know. Uh, it's a good way to take advantage of some leave. Um, it's just a really, uh, it's almost renewing, is what I'd call it. The business started in 2011, and Senior says his clients have come from as far as Fort McMurray for the experience. It's just really catching. Men really want to care about themselves because uh, most salons are unisex. They'll take men and women, and they say they can do these they aren't really tailoring to one specific community when you're doing that. The shave and cut looked so good, yours truly decided to sit back and take the plunge. The crew barber and stylist <laughs> shop offers a lot more than your haircuts and your close shaves. Here we have massage, a registered massage level two, RMT level two. We have aesthetics, we have nails. He says people feel intimidated at first, but they warm up to it. I have a lot of people come in and they're very scared of it the first time around, but those people, they're the most scared and the most standoff about another man touching their face, so those actually become my best clients. <laughs> in Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, New Cap News. All right, well, we have three animals up for adoption in this week's pet project. We have Princess Peach, who is a two-year-old female peach tabby. We have Mulan, who is a two-year-old lab husky cross. And, well, there's a nine-month-old tortoiseshell cat named Geneva. And, of course, all of them looking to find themselves a good home. Meet Mulan. Mulan is a two-year-old female Labrador Retriever husky cross. She's spayed, current on vaccinations, and she's also microchipped. Mulan is a wonderful girl who loves to be around people. She's generally a pretty calm dog, but she does have tendencies to get excited. She likes to play with toys, and she also likes to play fetch. She enjoys getting exercise by going for walks, but she could use a little bit of work on her leash training. Mulan is a wonderful girl looking for the perfect home. If you think that Mulan is the dog for you, come on down to the SPCA. This is Princess Peach. Princess Peach is a two-year-old female tabby. She's spayed, current on vaccinations, and she'll be microchipped at the time of adoption. Princess Peach is a cuddle bug. She loves to be picked up and held in your arms, and she'll show you how much she loves your affection by her unique purring sounds. And she'll also show you affection by nuzzling your ear and giving you her loving head butts. If you're looking for a cat who is really affectionate to love and that's going to love you back, Princess Peach is the cat for you. This is Geneva. Geneva is a nine-month-old female tortoiseshell cat. She's current on vaccinations, not yet spayed, and she'll be microchipped at the time of adoption. Geneva is also a very affectionate cat, but for as much as she likes to cuddle, she likes to play. She loves to run and play with toys, and she also likes to play with other cats. We currently have her in a cat condo here at the SPCA. If you're looking for a fun cat to play a social and interactive role in your home, come and check out Geneva.